Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So, on this video I kind of want to make it more dedicated towards uh, guiding you guys to specific materials in the Chalice Dungeons that we can actually acquire for uh, making more. Um, so this is going to be obviously, a, it's definitely going to be a boss video of course. That's what I do. That I just come in here and I fight bosses. That's basically my whole, my whole YouTube channel in a nutshell. But I want to uh, make this more dedicated towards farming the items. So I want to show you guys a couple spots. Uh, but first, I want to take off. I want to take off Blood Rapture, uh, and I want to put the Carol Rune Eye on here, so that way I get more items, more items from fallen enemies. Uh, we can put that on there. So we are currently on. Nope, not you. We are currently right here now, at the cursed lower Lauren. This is the lower, ailing Lauren Root Chalice. Well, uh, we're here, so this is where I'm gonna have to go to after to fight the boss. Uh, but first, I want to show you guys on how to get the inflicted organ item first, because that item is actually pretty difficult to get. So you have to make the lower Thamiru uh, labyrinth, or the lower Thamiru chalice, and then you have to go to the later four. You have to go all the way to the later four. Um, so it's as soon as you get to this point, I would not erase this chalice from the from the gravestone. Because you can use this spot as a as a way to just keep farming the item over and over and over again, and the great thing about this one right here is that it doesn't like it doesn't take too long to farm, um, unless the you know unless the uh, the Thamiria soldier is being a complete douche. Uh, but here we are at the lamp, and then as soon as you get to this door right here at the lower uh, at the later four, you should see the boss door right there. You should see a door right straight ahead of you as soon as you get out the door. Uh, from over there, from the lamp, and then you should see a door right here on the on the left side. The door on the left side it's spiked up, so you can't really open it from this side. So then we have to take two lefts right here. Then you should see a ladder, uh, and then you're past the ladder. You'll see the door that you have to open. Open it up, and then boom, you're back here again. Bro, go to sleep. Then you're back here again. There's the lamp. There's the boss door, and then there's the door we just went to. And now we can pass through this door. As soon as you go back to the lamp, instead of having to take that whole route, you can just go from the lamp all the way to this door. Super easy, like, this is this is just not even that long a run. It's super nice. And then from up this ladder, you take a sharp right corner here, and then here you are, to the Thamirian Soldier. If you don't want to use Bull Hunter's Mark, uh, keep this enemy right here alive, um, and just die to him all over and over and over again, uh, if you don't give a shit about your Blood Echoes. I just died to him and you're good to go, but I already got my my Bolt Hunter's Mark maxed out. Like, I'm good to go, man. Look, look at my Blood Echoes, bro. <laughs> I'm good to go. Not like that, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Shut up. Then he should... He doesn't always drop Inflicted Organ. Uh, it's kind of a rare item. So there you go, he dropped the Inflicted Organ. Uh, you don't. You can actually fight the final boss here and just get out of the chalice. Like it doesn't really matter anything. It only matters if you erase the chalice. That's all. That's all that matters. Because if you erase the chalice, you're gonna have to redo it all over again from the very beginning. So there's really no point in you know in doing that. Uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, it's not too far actually. The only reason it's good to die and then to the enemy and then get respawned back here at the lamp is so that way it resets the enemy. But I'm not coming back in here. I just wanted to show you guys that very first inflicted organ spot to form. So again, it's the lower Thamiru uh, chalice on the th on the fourth layer. And then the next farming spot, I think it's going to be for the sage's. I think it's the sage's hair. It's the sage's hair and the. Um, the sage's hair and for blooming. What do you call it? Uh, sage's hair and... Uh, why do I never check? I keep trying to like remember, but I can never remember. Blooming Cold Blood Flower. This item right here. You can also actually even uh, farm the red jelly as well. So for this one, for the ailing uh, Lauren, uh, the required for this to make it... Where is it? Uh, it's this one right here, right? The lower Lauren, hold on. Yeah, lower, lower Lauren Chalice. That is what it is, right? 
Oh, this is the alien we're in. Did I not make the lore? Ah, uh, no, not you. That's the one we just went to. That's the cursed one. Rotted ailing Lauren. That's gonna be a root chalice, so I can't show you guys. And that's the very... I don't know why I have that up. Okay, so... Yeah, so apparently in the... The one that I just showed you guys, the lower Lauren chalice, this one. I can't... I don't have it up, so I can't really show it to you guys. But there is a way that you can actually keep getting... Uh, Blooming cold blood flowers. I think you can also get bastard of Lauren, uh, and you get red jelly. There's a there's a way you can farm this over and over and over again. Uh, red jelly is a really rare item. You only can get one of it, but it's guaranteed in this one. It's it's guaranteed drop. It's not even a drop actually. You find it in the chest. So basically, you can keep making this over and over again, right? Make the the lower Lauren chalice. Um, and then get to a point where you find the Bastard of Lauren in a chest. It's like being surrounded by a bunch of enemies. The chest is literally in the middle of the room. It's literally in the middle of the room. Then when you open the chest, you should get two Bastard of Lauren's from that chest. Just keep proceeding until you find a chest in the middle of the room. Just have a, When you go into the lower Lauren Chalice, just keep that thought in your head of... Uh, of a treasure chest in the middle of a room uh, surrounded by uh, like a couple enemies. Well, kind of like a dozen enemies, but just keep that in your head as you explore. Then if you see the chest and you open it up, you will for sure get two uh, Bastard of Lauren materials. And very close to that, I believe you have to cross a bridge, uh, like one of those bridges like in the ravine. You have to cross that and then you'll get to a room where, it's, uh, where there's like a bunch of like treasure chests. And the big one, the very big one that's like being uh, guarded in the very middle of the room, or the very far back of the room, it's being guarded by a Lauren Silver Beast. It's like those big, long enemies that's like uh, holding a torch. When you get in that room, you're going to find, uh, I think it was four blooming cold blood flowers, I think. You find a red jelly, and I think you find another material that I forgot. I think it was Sage's wrist, actually, now that I think about it. You find all these, these are really important. So lower, uh, the lower Lauren Chalice is an extremely good farming spot. And the best part about it is that every single item that I just mentioned is a guaranteed uh, drop. Or not drop, you get it from the chests. You get two Bastard of Laurens every single time you make this uh, lower Lord, uh, Lauren Chalice. You get one Red Jelly. You get four Blooming Cold Blood Flowers. And I think you get two Sage's Wrist every single time. Every single time. I'm not even lying. This is legit. Um, which is absolutely crazy. And then to get the uh, Sage's hair, you have to go to the Ailing Lauren Chalice, the very first one. And I'm going to show, show you, uh, I'm going to show you guys right now how to get it. So you have to unlock the Ailing Lauren uh, third layer to do this. I don't remember on the Ailing, uh, the lower Ailing Lauren, uh, the one that we have to use the blooming. Cold, uh, cold blood flower, whatever the fuck it's called. The the chalice that I just talked about, which I already forgot. God damn. <laughs> uh, for that one, I don't know which layer it's in. You're just gonna have to like keep going until you find the chest that's like in the middle of the room, and it drops two or it gives you two uh, bastard of Lawrence. However, from this point here, as soon as you get out the, you get out the uh, from the lamp area there, you'll see the boss door over there, you'll see nothing, or you see another door over there. Uh, keep going straight towards where these spiders are getting spawned from. And do kill the two uh, summoners here. There's this one. The reason why I say kill them is because these spiders, they're going to follow you to hell. Like, they're, it's ridiculous. They'll basically follow you almost the entire way. It's so stupid. So definitely kill them. There's the very first summoner was killed. Then go up the stairs and then go to the very middle of this room. And you should see the other summoner up here somewhere. And as soon as she's dead, all the spiders are dead. Boom. And as soon as you get up here, just turn right and you should see, you should see this room right here. Um, don't go down there. We're going to go down there, but not yet. Uh, as soon as you go out here, take a left. And go inside this room right here. And you should see a sages, or one of the sages in here. There he is. 
There's a sage. He's guarding uh, the lever that opens up the boss room. Right, we want to kill this guy. He hits like a fucking truck. That's all I'm gonna... That's all I say here about it. Thank you. Thank you for my health back. I much appreciate it. Oh, wait, I don't... I don't have Blood Raptor, right? Again, these guys that uh, you kill on the field, it's not guaranteed that these guys will drop. As you can see right there, I didn't really get it. So let me try again. Let me try again. You actually can farm... There's two sages that you can farm on. Uh, but this is the path to do so. So just go straight. Kill the two hoes that are like... Here. Funny. Bruh. Get away from me. Alright, let's go back out here, take a left. The path seems at first that it's really long, but it's really not. It's not that long of a path. It's pretty easy, actually. At first, I also thought that it was really long, but it's not that bad. No. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna drop it now? Nope. Okay, that's fine. But anyways, yeah, he drops it. Uh, yeah, like I said, field enemies that drops the materials. It's not always guaranteed. Uh, I would also kill this guy. Uh, not because he's going to get in the way, but look at what he drops. Oh, I got it, actually. Nice. He also drops Blooming Cold uh, cold Blood Flower. He also drops the other one, too. The the mini version that you use for the, the very beginning. I think it was the... Which item was it? Hold on, let me see. He also drops... One of these... So basically, these enemies, they can drop, they have a chance to drop these items, looks like. Which is nice. So every time you're doing this run, make sure to kill those two because they have a chance. Then go into this room, there's really nothing here. But just drop down right here, right? And then walk back. Then here's a sage, he's just facing the... He's facing the jars. Just get a backstab on him. A charge and a visceral strike. And then he also has a chance to drop the sage's hair. And then after that, just keep going here, I guess, and go back to the lamp. I don't know. Originally, it's better to... Or you could go right here, actually, and just... And then just die to these guys. Right? Uh, because, well, the lamp is right there. All you have to do is just get out of this room, kill them, and then r rinse and repeat. Then rinse and repeat. It's pretty easy. It doesn't seem like it's so hard. But my favorite spot is the the one that I said about the Ailing Lauren. The, the spot where you get it from the treasure chests. Like, you get so much good items, man. It's insane. Let's, let me just retry this again, because I think I need Sage's hair for the next chalice that we're going into. Yeet. Cut it out. Oh, my stamina's lacking. Okay. We can run here. The the sage at the very bottom, he doesn't really aggro at all until you're, like, really close to him. Which is very nice. Again? You're just gonna charge at me like that, bro? <laughs> Please drop. Yes, thank you. The sage's hair um, on the on the portrait there, the little picture, it reminds me of Nameless King a lot. I don't know why, it just it just does. It just has the vibe, bro. It just has the vibe. Are you also gonna drop the... There it is, cold blood... F oh, bro, it's just giving me every item. <laughs> oh! Woo! That's nice. That's real nice. No, you don't. Bitch. Oh my god, bro! Are you for real? I see the, uh, the sages right there. 
72 fight, but like you can just keep running right here. Like it doesn't matter. He doesn't see you whatsoever. Bro, look at the items that we got. Are you kidding me, bro? This game is being nice to me today. I like it. We got inflicted organ. We got sage's hair, cold blood flower, uh, flower blood, flower bud, and blooming cold blood uh, flower. All right, you just give me quicksilver bullets. Okay, you're trash. <laughs> you're trash, bro. Shut up. Easy. But there you go. That is the. Oh damn. That is how you farm for those. Very easy, very easy. So if you guys are needing, you know, Sage's hair, go to this chalice. Go to that chalice. Yeah, Sage's hair is found in the Alien Lauren. This is the very first Alien Lauren, by the way, guys. This is the very first Alien, Alien Lauren. Then you have to go to layer three, do the exact same thing that I just did. You'll get uh, Sage's hair. You'll get the cold blood. Oh my god, I can't never remember these names. They're so fucking long. You'll get the Sage's hair. You'll get the cold blood flower bud. Cold blood flower flower bulb, maybe. And blooming cold blood flower. Um, and then for the lower Thamiru chalice, uh, on the fourth layer, you'll get the inflicted organ item. Uh, this one right here. And then for the... And then for the lower Lauren, Lauren Chalice, you'll be able to farm Bastard of Lauren, uh, two of them, every time you make this... Uh, um, blah, 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 blah. Every time you make this uh, Chalice, you'll be able to get two Bastard of Lauren's. You'll be able to get one red jelly every single time, by the way. One red jelly. Uh, blooming cold blood flower also four of them I believe uh, and there was another one and I think sage's wrist yeah there you go that's sage's wrist I believe yeah those are the items you'll get from those it's super good very nice you know just keep making it but I forgot which layer it was in that you get for uh, for that chalice the lower Lauren chalice I forgot which layer I don't remember you just have to keep going and then you have to find the room and as soon as you find it, you just mark it down. If anybody knows what layer it is, please do tell me in the comment section. I would like to know, so that way I can come back and farm. But yeah, anyways, now let's let's go ahead and fight the boss. Under Kurt Lower Root Ailing Lauren Chalice. I already put uh, Folded, uh, Rotted, and Cursed, obviously. But uh, I don't know why I just keep saying, saying only one. Maybe they just don't want to make the names too long, I guess, for the... Every time you enter, because imagine, uh, Cursed, Rotted, Folded, Lower, Thamiru, Root Chalice. Like, that'd be so long of a name, bro. Oh, are you kidding me? Again, we don't need this shit. What do we got? Who's the boss? Please let it be some, something new. Come on now. Lauren Silver Beast? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I see, I see, I see. Oh my god, bro. I thought this was supposed to be a hard chalice. Are you kidding me? I almost killed that thing in... <laughs> I almost killed that thing in one visceral. That's funny. Cursed. Blood jam stone. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys my level. I'm not changing. As mentioned... Before. It ain't gonna be changed. Yep, still Sark Cleaver, uh, Threaded Cane. Oh, I forgot to uh, add Blood Rapture back. Shit. And th those are my Carol Ruins. I got Moon, I got Air, and I have Eye. But I need, I need to change uh, Eye right now and then uh, put it in blood, uh, blood Rapture so that way I can get my health back when I do Viscerals. And then, as usual, I also have the. The Hunter Carol, uh, Carol Rune, which is like that blue or green, whatever color you're wanting to think is. Uh, whether it be Lime or Azure or whatever color it is. I don't fucking care what color you think it is. Um, that right there is like a Covenant uh, Carol Rune. Um, there isn't very very many of them, actually. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to do uh, that one check that was in the Astral Clock Tower or in the DLC. 
I wasn't able to do her quest because she. I think she gives you the mil milkweed or millweed carol rune, and it transforms your character to have like a broccoli or or cabbage head or something, and your our hands is like uh, all slimy and octopi like imaging. Oh uh, yeah, but anyways, uh, there you go, guys. That is the guide to getting those materials. It might have seemed like it was really confusing, but that's because it is. <laughs> when it comes to explanations, I'm not the best. But, uh, you know, explaining things, I just I try to do my best, but, bro, it's, it's just a fucking mess. Uh, but yeah, that was the guide to those materials, and that was the ailing Lauren, or the Lauren Silver Beast boss. Let me just uh, repair these first. back here and we put you back on <coughs> my favorite carol rune in the game that I miss it there you are blood rapture yeah, let's see weapon durability I don't know if I want to do that I kind of like my weapon durability okay, I got a lot of these I need to go to the shop and start selling So this one takes away the attacks to beasts. Let me put... Wait, hold on. Which one was it? Oh, okay. It was the radial. Okay, I don't have that. I was going to say, reduce the damage to beasts. I could put it on my threaded cane, and it adds a slow poison buildup. That's insane. That's just hacks. Uh, what do we got here? Adds rapid poison or adds slow poison. Rapid poison seems to have more in terms of points. This one's 3.3, .3, the other one is 2.6. Rapid poison, I i don't see much rapid poison builds. But we're going to put you on anyway. I've never seen any enemy in the game having rapid poison buildup other than the sage that I actually showed you guys. Like there was that first sage that was guarding the, the lever. And then there was that second sage that was like on the bottom. The second sage in the bottom, he was like holding a body or something, but every time he attacks with that thing, it, it uh, adds rapid poison uh, buildup. And I'm like, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We got an enemy that's cooking with rapid, okay. That's pretty yight. I need a better healing for the gun. I don't think I'll be able to get that shit, bro. Okay. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys on the next boss. Peace!